And that's when Michael saw the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. Not her. Wait for it. Are you from wee Britain? Great Britain, actually. I, I was wondering if you might be willing to go somewhere with me. I, I would pay you. You'll pay me? Not, not for sex. You're going to think that I'm Jack the Ripper, right? Didn't he kill prostitutes or... I'm not a prostitute. And I shall let you live. <laughs> it's my worst. Hello. Let me try again. My name is Michael. Rita. So I need access to these files that are apparently for British eyes only. Well, lucky for you, my whole face is British. For British eyes only. I was going to ask you, preschools just go half day, right? And I'm not, I'm not trying to pick you up, but is, is there any way that I can, uh, I can come by, pick you up, bring you here? Yeah, I, I, um, I suppose I could sneak out at nap time. Yes, perfect, mm. great. And I shall drop you off alive, hooker or no. You know, uh, Rita, you're going to figure this out eventually, but I have not been on a date in a long, long time. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> you know, I'll bet men ask you out constantly. Not men like you. I seem to only meet little boys. Part of that might be that you spend your day to preschool. <laughs> and I think the stupidest <laughs> things are funny. Yeah, that's, that's a cultural problem is what it is. You know, you, you, your average American male is in a perpetual state of adolescence, you know, arrested development. Hey, that's the name of the show. No attention span, you know, can't even carry on a, a typical convo. Michael thought he spotted the man who'd threatened him earlier. Well, I'm getting back on the space shuttle. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Sid, please, let's talk about you. Tell me about your family. No. They're pushy, bossy, they want to control me. What about your family? I'd love to meet your family. Michael knew from experience that this would not turn out well. Usually once or twice a week. We get it. If you like the small, why don't you come back for the medium? Right, can you, you can see that, right? Uh, I probably should warn you about my mother. Let's start behind the fridge. So he came up with a solution so simple, he wondered why he'd never told anyone it before. I don't have a family. I can't believe I've never told anybody that before. That's so sad. Yes, sad, super sad. Shall we eat? And after an evening of drinking, Michael, being the sensible one, offered to give Maggie a ride home. <laughs> The next morning, Michael was wondering how to end his first one-night stand. Coffee? Hi. Yes, please. Thank you. That's great. But you know what? I, I am, I am going to have to read that plea oh. soon, OK? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's a big case. But I promise later I will call. Michael struggled to follow Job's instruction to just walk away. I'll, I'll, I'll call, OK? All right? Hey, who's this? Oh, that's Justice. Hi, Justice. <laughs> Hi, Justice. Is he as handsome as he smells? <laughs> I, I didn't know that, that you had a dog. How else am I going to get to work? You ride a dog to work? <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> Let me see that smile. Well, it's tough with your hands in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Say when. OK. And suddenly, Michael recalled some non sequiturs from the night before. So tell me something personal about yourself. Uh, well, I have an irreversible case of ocular retinoblastoma. Hey, I thought we said no more law talk. I really can't see anybody right now. Oh, well, I can't see anybody ever. I'm blind. I'm wasted. Michael realized that the woman he was attempting to never see again was blind, and he was overcome with guilt. When? Can we go out again? Really? I thought you were, like, just into this one-night stand kind of Come thing. Come on. I, I took a blind woman home with no intention of dating her again? Please. <laughs> so this publicist, Michael, is she cute? I never really noticed. In fact, Michael had noticed her at the gym, but only recently gotten up the nerve to talk to her, giving him a chance to work on his flirting skills. Racy to the top of the hill. Which had gotten rusty over the years. A race to the top of the hill. I brought a picnic lunch. <laughs> hey, that hill was Jesse really... Jesse Bowers, if you ever have any public relations needs. My relations are already a little too public. I'm Michael Bluth. From the Bluth Company? That's right. 
Oh, I'm giving you my direct line. Okay, sure. She's uh, she's cute, I suppose. I mean, now that you're making me think about it, uh, she's cute. She's a cutie. It's a little cutie pie. But I never really noticed. Why don't you just ask her out? That's not an option. Well, because you're scared? No, because of George Michael. He still hasn't gotten over losing his mother. I just want to get him through high school, and then we'll deal with me, okay? So you didn't get any while you were in high school, and now you're not going to get any while George Michael's in high school. Jesse, you've really been doing a great job with my family. Oh, good. Get one of Michael and me on a date. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. A date? This, this is a date now? I thought this was just business. Can it be a little bit of both? How will I know which part of it is business? Uh-oh. Can't wait to see which part of it is a date. Show me business again. Hey. Hey. He's on his way. Hey, listen, 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 listen. This uh, might be moving a little bit too fast for him. I mean, for, for us. Me. Uh, it's for me. You know, maybe we should take a step back and just keep this relationship professional. Oh, I think that would take all the fun out of it. No, 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 seriously, seriously. You're amazing. But I just think we should slow down. Uh-huh. So the two months on the bike, that was what? For my health? We had great conversations. Seriously, this is hard for me. This is hard for me, too. I've got a life to get on track, and I don't like wasting time. So let's do this. Let's take two steps back. And why don't you find yourself a new publicist? Jesse. No, I was just, just saying your name as, as, uh, as you, you walked away. I, I didn't, uh, I have no follow-up. Jesse. Michael felt bad. Welcome. I am Ms. Barely, the ethics teacher. My goal is to teach your children about the preciousness of life that can be lost by the mindless pulling of a trigger. Mm. No ring. And so Michael got to know his son's ethics teacher. Ethics, right and wrong. <laughs> How can one thing be right and another one be wrong? I mean, which is which, you know? <laughs> I guess that's the err. Uh, of it, you know, so frustrating. I don't know, I mean, they just threw this class at me after Mr. Daniels had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I had him, Mr. Daniels, how is he? Oh, he, you know, had a stroke. Oh, I thought that you were joking. No, gosh. I was just laughing, because you were laughing. Right, no, was... yeah, gosh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I really am anti-war and anti-violence. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm an ethical person. Right. Here's an ethical question. Can, can a parent take a teacher out for a drink? Or... I don't know. Uh, do you have a wife? Yeah, but she's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been married? Yeah, she died. Oh, God, why are we laughing? I don't, well, it's the Mr. Daniel stroke thing all over again. <laughs> Let's go get that trick. Yeah, it yeah. can only help. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael went to speak with Marta about the misunderstanding from the night before. I owe you an apology. No, I owe you an apology. I'm so ashamed that I was so disrespectful to your brother. Oh, who cares? Nobody respects him. You see, Marta, I have been interested in you since the first day that we met. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We live by a code, you and I to honor family. Yes. That's one of the things that attracted me to you, your sense of right and wrong. I also like your hair and your face and your breasts. You sound like your brother. Oh, thank you. Jove is like the cock of the walk, but not you. You're so kind. You're sensitive like a woman. That's enough. We do have to do the right thing. And being together is the wrong thing. Very, very. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Is that Joe? Yeah. 
you like to make love to this? I'm going to turn this off. Please, you do. Oh, look. Job's wand. Oh, this, this is so wrong. No, 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 not, 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 not hot wrong, you know, regular wrong. I, I gotta tell Job. No, I have to tell him. Yes, but, but you, you speak a little slowly and I really wanna get this thing moving along. So listen, you do the noble thing and you tell him that you've met somebody else. I'm gonna do the noble thing and tell him that it's me while I'm doing my noble thing. You could put those photos in a box, get rid of the wand, and we can do the wrong thing. <laughs> 